There was an idea to boost the products of the Haber process. Without regulating temperature and pressure. So when they needed fertilizer, we could increase the yields. But we never could. Shatbeer's principle says otherwise, to feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Equilibrium still arrives. Increase the pressure. Lower all temperatures and increase nitrogen and hydrogen concentrations. Fun isn't something one considers when balancing the rate of reaction. But this, this does put a smile on my face. Tell me his name again. Le Chatelier. He says that if a system at equilibrium is disturbed, the direction in which the system proceeds back to equilibrium is such that the disturbance is partially offset. That's him. He can balance out any changes you add to the system on a scale hitherto undreamt of. Did you seriously just say hitherto undreamt of? Are you seriously trying to boost ammonia production without adding pressure or decreasing temperature? Is that not possible? I'm going to allow that. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. To change the equilibrium constant. If he manages to change the temperature, he can do it with a snap of his finger. Just like that. Tell me his name again. The Chatelier. We got one advantage to get KA. We have KB and KW. So we divide KW by KB. Let's talk about the solubility problem. It's just like any other equilibrium equations, except it's not. Because reactants is a solid, you don't put that in the equation. Wow. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. I hope we remember to check their assumptions. I told you, you'd die for that. Oh, <laughs> shit.
should have saturated the solution. Start. I don't feel so good. You're all right. I don't. I don't know what's happening. I don't know. What's happening. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Strange. Oh, you're using your made up names. Then I am Spider Man. <laughs>